Yak 55 rolls the Yak unburdened. He's going to push and climb down to two. We'll climb about 2,000 feet. We're going to be talking live to Drew from the cockpit of the aircraft. Now, this is a Russian-built Yak airplane powered by, powered by a nine-cylinder engine, an M14P engine. Again, cracking out 360 horsepower. Drew has more than 2,000 hours flying airplanes. He's an FAA commercial license with an instrument and multi-engine ratings. And guess what, folks? He's an attorney. But don't hold that against him. He's one of the good guys. He works with the AOPA and the AA for working out the problems we have. For somebody who's been violated by the FAA, he works with them to get the unviolated. For a thousand jumps to his credit. Having jumped from everything from a Tiger Ball biplane, no rhyming air drum, to DC-3. From behind the crowd, Mr. Drew Hill in the Yak-55. Oh, with the crowd, Drew shows a pretty upside, top side of the airplane. A vertical flight rolls the airplane one time round, one and a quarter time round. Stops it right there, watches Drew takes his aircraft down. Pushes over the top, puts another straight back down the ground, and gives a quarter roll on the down line, lines himself off the air show center. And exit the left hand side of the box. He's going vertical one more time, watches Drew takes the Act 55. Up over the top, outside snaps the airplane right there on top one, two times around. Stops the rotation, holes right there, right down the center line of the runway. The double avalanche by Mr. Drew Hurley in a Yak 55. Vertical one more time, flip the smoke switch back on the vertical upline. Here's a full roll, a three quarter roll of the vertical upline. Gonna stop the vertical penetration right about there. Kick the right rudder this time. Now this engine turns the opposite direction American built engines do. Ro prop rotates the right, so he kicks a right rudder coming down the 45 down line. Drew takes the Yak 55 right down the air show center, getting all 360 opponents working for him. Pulls back, rolls the airplane right down the air show center. Flying, I watch Drew takes the airplane again, looking up to see down. Over oh, sort of look down the top of the canopy, coming over across the top. On the 45 down line, Drew is going to perform two points of the four point hesitation roll, roll the airplane back to the upright position. Again, left hand side of the box, up and over the top. Drew takes the Yak 55, holds the inverted flight, negative G's right there, coming down the back side. Pulls hard to positive G's right on the bottom side, about a three and a half to four positive G pull. This time, Drew takes this Yak 55. Again, a Russian built airplane, and it's built like a truck. He is upside down the 45 down lane. The inverted flight hold the outside, rolls back the up right now, right to the air show center, pulls back on the sticker right down the air show center before Pazer G pull. Slamming himself down inside the cockpit of the Yak 55. Only 45 up line, we get one, two, three. I'm going to get four aileron rolls at 45 up line. Drew works the Act 55, working with the wind, the winds push him towards the crowd. He knows that, so he corrects himself, gets back over away from us. And the air show center line where he's supposed to be, when he's over at all times, the safety is number one, and Drew knows that, so he keeps the airplane right position where it's supposed to be. Back to the deck one more time. Drew takes the Act 55, pulls vertical force. Watch Drew takes the airplane. Here's a quarter roll on the upside right there. He's going to take the aircraft. Beautiful blue sky. What a picture that would be right there. Make smoke work for him. Cabs it off right there, left front of this time, gets the nose, come back through the act, takes the airplane, points the nose straight down the ground, gives a half roll and a vertical down line. This time Drew goes vertical force outside, snaps the airplane and right across top of the lumbar Shabaka again, check goes the Baki for heading against that great big Yak 55, just a time with end over end, wingtip over end, wingtip for the lumbar Shabaka. Right, Drew comes back down there, should send it one more time. Now he's going to take this pass. Again, he's back sick, about a three to hit the four pies. G pull there. Roll the airplane a quarter on the upside. Climb right straight up. Kicks the left front of this time. Going to back it up right down through his own smoke. He's disappeared right there. But the tail fly by Drew Hurley in the Yak 55. Right, Drew's going to climb the altitude here. He's going to give me a call in a couple seconds here. I think he's going to climb down attitude and he's going to perform a maneuver, maneuver that many pilots died trying to perform. First done by the famed Jimmy Doolittle from the Doolittle Raiders. And maneuver we're talking about, the outside loop. He's going to take this Yak 55. He's going to go upside down. He's going to do the complete barnstormer loop. 
but instead of pulling positive G's, he's going to take an airplane, push forward on the stick, and go negative G's. Negative, the outside loop by Mr. Drew Hurley in the Yak 55. Pretty, pretty blue sky out there. The Yak 55, there's red, white, and blue paint scheme. He's looking for 100 and oh, about 190, 200 mile an hour. The Yak, he's going to take the airplane to 45 down, and right there, show the center. It's the airplane and rolls you've heard it now. Push outside, this is going to hurt right there. There's about four and a half negative G's pushing outside. All oh, the blood in his body went right up to his eyeballs there. Push, 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 push is all over the top. At zero G right there. Nose comes back down through. He's going to keep pushing outside. Push that side. There's three, three and a half. Probably four negative G's right there. The outside loop by Mr. Drew Hurley. We're going to... We're going to go live the cockpit with Drew Hurley. Oh. Drew, are you there? I am indeed, howdy. Yeah, fantastic job so far. What do you got in store for us? Well, coming up, we've got the inverted flat spin, but before I get there, as I'm climbing up to 6,000 feet, I always want to say thanks. As soon as I recover from that, thanks, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out to this beautiful air show, Wheels and Wings 2002, the start of a great air show season. I can't begin to tell you what a privilege it is for me to be able to fly the same show in the same piece of sky to so many wonderful pilots like Mike Mancuso and especially the Air Force Thunderbirds. What a privilege. Ever since I began performing in air shows, I wanted it to be more than simply flying. So since the very first show, I've always dedicated the performance to the men and women who serve and who have served this great country of ours and its armed forces, especially those who have lost their lives and their limbs in the service of our country. Remember that it was what they did that allows us to gather here today to celebrate who we are as a nation. So please join me in sending our prayers and thoughts to those who have served and those who are serving today in service of their country overseas in harm's way. This weekend marks the first air show in this part of the country since 9-11. And despite that horrendous, horrendous loss, the fact that we are here today and that others, that other air shows like us are at and enjoying air shows around the country shows that our enemies will never be, never understand who we are as a nation, never understand who we are as a people. We are a great nation. We're not just going to survive, we're going to win. So ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Thanks for coming out. Have a great afternoon. Look forward to seeing you on the ground. And if I have a chance to shake each and every one of your hands and say thank you for being here and being part of this great country. It would certainly be a privilege and an honor. Howdy back to you. Great job, Drew. Keep up the good work. Get Catch your breath and start us off. Yeah, sir. Live from the cockpit, Mr. Drew Hurley. Nice job. He used to be a radio announcer, too, in case you couldn't tell. Now, Drew's going to take this jack. He's going to roll it upside down. He's going to perform the inverted flat spin. This maneuver, again, has killed many, many pilots throughout the years. When the airplane goes inverted and goes flat, the controls actually don't do anything right. You have to know how to correct the aircraft when it goes flat like that. Drew, over the years of practice, has accomplished this with the Act 55. He's going to take his aircraft and flat spin it just as many times as he can. The smoke is back on. Roll the airplane upside down. He's going to stall the airplane, kick the rudder, get the airplane spinning downward. There it goes off of the outside. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Anytime, Drew. Anytime. 11. 12. Whoa, that's a record for Drew Hurley in the Act 55. That's 12 inverted flat spins. What a job, Drew. Woo. Make my heart stop for a second there. I don't know when he's going to pull out of that. He said maybe he'll do nine. He liked what he was doing. He nailed it with 12 inverted flat spins. Smoke comes back on again. We trade the altitude for airspeed. Back to Airshow Center. Watch as Drew takes the Act 55. Right down the back at Airshow Center. He's the back of that three and a half. Pause the G pull. Puts itself down inside the cockpit of the airplane. Up and over the top. Comes across the top again. Looking up to see that. Come down the backside of the loop. 
Drew is going to take the airplane and follow it up with another loop, I believe. Keeps going, making all 360 ponies that M14P engine work for him. Rolls the airplane a half roll in the vertical upline, pulls across the top the other side. We did a loop from left to right, now we're doing one from right to left. Back to the deck, Drew's going to ease back and stick again, going to vertical right about now. Watch Drew see the airplane. Give a quarter roll that time, fly away from the crowd. And watch him take the backside of the X-55. At 270 degree point loop, another quarter roll. This triple back-to-back -back loop by Mr. Drew Hurl in the X-55. Again, trading the attitude of airspeed. He's going to come back through. Now, Drew, Drew can count, but he's going to try and do a 16-point roll. But kids, get your shoes off. We're going to try and count. Make sure he does all 16 points of his head station roll. Okay, from left to right, Mr. Drew Hurl. Then watch him take the airplane. Okay, let's start counting now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 14. Oh, he missed it all oh, through. Doggone. Oh, There's a 16 point head station roll. Stopping the airplane every, let's see, 16 and 360. That's 22 and a half degrees. That sound about right. Drew says, I'm going to do the 16 point roll, but I'm going to do it my way. Okay, we're going to take it right around to 15, stop and rock it back. He plays like that. Sometimes we'll do 15 and hold 15. Sometimes we'll do the 16 and pocket it back. Mr. Drew Hurl in the Act 55. Now, he's not done yet. He's going to take the airplane again. Back down in Air Show Center. Getting all 360 ponies from him. We're going to vertical one more time. He takes the airplane up. Watch him take it. He calls it the vertical Lumpshavak. Going straight up Lumpshavak. The check goes to Vak for heading. Tumbles the airplane around from the vertical up line. Points the nose straight back down the ground. Watch Drew. Take the Act again this time. We're going to go vertical again. Drew takes the Act 55, the right hand side of the box, to work himself back to Air Show Center. Again, trading the altitude for airspeed. Watch, he takes the Act 55. Again, making all nine cylinders work for him out there, getting all 360 supercharged horsepower working. Back down the deck, the Act 55, looking 160, 180 plus mile an hour. Pulls another, rolls knife edge flight, holds the top rudder, stand on top of her, seesaw back and forth, hold knife edge flight, danced on the rudder pedal. Again, the aeronautic engineers say you cannot fly an airplane tonight, bitch. When the wings are perpendicular to the ground, they are not producing lifts. We cannot sustain flight of the aircraft. Well, crew just proved it can be done. Actually, folks, the side of the fuselage becomes a lifting surface of the aircraft, making all 360 horsepower work for him to create enough lift to sustain flight down the runway. Drew Hurley, far left-hand side of the field. I think this is approach landing here. Tough nope, photo pass, folks. Get your cameras out. Drew takes the Act 55. Well built. It, the airplane is built like a bridge. It is a very, very strong aircraft. He's not done. He's having fun out there. You got the guy on the track out here again. We can get him out of here. I think Drew saw him. So, wait a minute. This guy's not supposed to be out of here. Is that Roger? This should be the final approach for Drew Hurley. Again, gotta hold the applause for Drew as he gets the airplane on the ground. There's a little slip to landing. Cross control, a little left rudder, right, a little right aileron. Slow the airplane out, lose the altitude. Keep the speed down where he wants. Gotta plant the mains around, roll up. He's gonna taxi back up where he left from, I believe.
Well, I think Drew will get this Jack 55 pulled up in front of the crowd here. He's going to slide the canopy back. He's going to get the plugs in his.